So hello and welcome back to Gumadi Coins and Banknotes and today we have the coins of Kazakhstan. So these are the circulating coins and these were first issued in 97 with the early issue being the tie-in coins which one tenge is equivalent to 100 tie-in. These are a 1993 issue so a single year issue uh, but they did issue a one tenge in 1992 so you're wondering why i have all these denominations split out here well if you look at these two coins and these two these two we have the early ones in cyrillic so that's the script they use in russia and the later ones are in latin so that was in 2019 that it changed the alphabet from cyrillic to latin so pretty much it's like um, Azerbaijan, they use the Latin alphabet. Uh, who else? Well, the former Soviet states, yeah, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, they use the Latin alphabet. And I think Turkmenistan as well, but that I need to look up. So slowly these are starting to change the alphabet from Cyrillic to Latin. I don't think Russia would do it. It's too much pride in it. And... On these coins, you just have the denomination on one side. On the opposite side, we just have the coat of arms of Kazakhstan. So the only two coins that are interesting in this series is the 100. So this is a bimetal. And it is a copper nickel centre with a brass ring. And this is a security feature in the actual coin have any no it's just a really cool feature so pity doesn't show up any uh, hidden messages in the actual coin and these ones are metal rotated so when you rotate it north or south uh, it is the same side look at the coat of arms that's actually quite a nice coat of arms so that's 2020 but the best coin they have is the 200 as you can see, we have 200 here, and in little horizontal lines, we have 200 around. And this is a security feature, which uh, makes this coin really cool. I wish Australia would produce something like this, except for a uh, boring $2 coin that we have in circulation. So the 200 tenge has our Spanish milling. Spanish flower and the coat of arms so the coat of arms itself is actually quite an interesting you can look on Wikipedia about the history of the coat of arms so what we have is pretty much a yurt with radiation radiating sun rays as far as I know and these are called Talpo so these are just winged horses like Pegasus in Turkey culture so that's an interesting feature you can actually read on Wikipedia as well. So as for the actual values of these coins, now we'll look at those in a minute. But the denominations are also pretty standard. Uh, we have the one, uh, the two was only issued in uh, 95, 96. Or is it in yeah, 95, 96? So, but this is similar to the one and the five. So you can actually get confused with the two. Uh, so they don't produce these anymore. And then we have the 10 tenge, the 20, so the smallest in the copper, nickel, and later nickel plated steel coins. Obviously, are they milled? The interrupted milling. Then we have the 50. Also, interrupted milling. Then we had the 100 and the 200. So, quite nice. But as these become devalued, because this currency is slowly losing value, uh, it more than likely is that they'll withdraw to 1 and 5 tenge. Uh, just have these denominations. Probably issue high value uh, 500 or 1000. So, Another thing 
that we have. We have these commemorative coins. These have a mintage of roughly about a 300,000. So here we have the end of the Second World War coin, 75 years, 2020. And just as the coat of arms. And these are all 100 Tenge coins. And they're quite nice. You can buy them for about three or four dollars each. So if you're interested in these, you can buy. Here's a, a type species of horse, a kulan. So that's what that commemorates. 2021. Then we have maybe I can't remember what this commemorates. I need to look it up. But this is actually quite a nice design. And I'll make another video on these coins. And this is the best one. Look at the coat of arms. That's that's awesome in the first place. But look at the design around it. Looks like uh, birds. Birds, dollars, bird. Probably got Kazakhstan. And here's Kazakhstan in uh, Latin. But in Kazakh. And this one is... 1991 and 2001, so it's 30 years of independence. That's pretty standard. And it got a tree that's rising. Well, maybe it's a nuclear bomb. Or maybe half and half. Tree, nuclear weapon. Beautiful. So that's a nice coin. I actually quite like that. I like this side. But for $3, no, you really can't go wrong. Uh, there is a whole lot of hundred ten gear coins you can actually purchase uh, from eBay. eBay is probably the best place to get these because it's just a whole lot of variety. You can pretty much get all of the current series in Latin numerals, you know, for about ten dollars. You know, because people got to buy them for the uh, even if they buy them for double the exchange rate, then they need to put some on uh, just to make their business worthwhile. But you can actually, over time, you can get these in bulk lots. That's how I've got these coins in bulk lots. 97, 2012. But it will be good if Kazakhstan probably put some images on this side. Maybe some animals or famous people. Yeah, there's a lot of people uh, like on there. Actually, no, the banknotes don't even have famous people. I get mixed up with Kyrgyz this time. Anyway, hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Don't forget to collect some coins from Kazakhstan and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.